Today we are going to learn chapter 10 wave properties of particle. In this video, we are going to discuss on 10.2 electron diffraction. Okay, so before we start to do the discussion, let us go through first what are the equations that we will use. Okay, so in the previous video, we already noticed that lambda or the de Broglie wavelength is equal to h over p where p is momentum or we can write as h over nv. Okay, so since for the electron microscope, okay, we notice that the velocity of the electron are controlled by the applied voltage. Okay, so if the applied voltage is increased, the velocity of the electron it will be faster. Okay, so meaning that the potential energy is actually equal to the kinetic energy. Okay, so potential energy is equal to EV and the kinetic energy is equal to half NV squared. Okay, therefore, V is equal to set to EV over mass. Okay, so we can substitute inside the equations, okay, where H is equal to MV. Therefore, okay, lambda is equal to H over set to M EV. Or we also can substitute or convert EV okay here become kinetic energy okay so it become 2 m k okay so we can try to use these equations to solve the example okay so let us start with example 4 an electron is accelerated from rest through a potential difference of 2000 volt Okay, so when they give you 2000 volt, meaning that we can use the third equation. Huh? Okay, so this is the first equation we can use. Okay, number two, number three, and number four. Okay, so since they give you the value for the voltage, therefore we can use equations number three to calculate the de Broglie wavelength. Okay, so we can use de Broglie wavelength equals to H over set to MEV okay so I substitute in the value 6.63 exponent negative 34 over 2M where M is equal to the mass of the electron okay so it's equal to 9.11 exponent negative 31 E is 1.6 exponent negative 19 and V is the voltage 2000. Okay, therefore the de Broglie wavelength is equal to 2.75 exponent negative 11 meter. Okay, next question is number 4B. An electron and a proton has a same wavelength of 0 0.21 milli nanometer okay so the electron is actually a particle okay and the photon is actually an em wave okay so this is actually a particle and a photon is actually a em wave okay so calculate 3.16 exponent negative 24 kg meter per second okay so this momentum is actually similar for electron and also similar for photon okay because they are having the same wavelength okay they are having a same wavelength so the answer is 3.16 exponent negative 24 kg meter per second okay next we want to find the energy okay so for our photon we have the photon energy okay where is equal to hc over lambda okay so 6.63 exponent negative 34 c is the speed of light and the wavelength is 0 0.21 exponent negative 9. Okay, so the photon energy is equal to 9.47 exponent negative 16. Okay, so since the question mentioned they want to find uh, in an electron volt, so we need to divide it. Okay, Joe, we divide the 1.6 exponent negative 19, then we will get the photon energy is 5,919 volt, electron volt, okay? Okay, next is the particle, where the particle here is an electron, okay? So the electron is moving with the kinetic energy, half NV squared, okay? So half 
m is the mass of the electron so i substitute a 9.11 exponent negative 31 and v because it is moving with the velocity okay so we need to find okay by using the equations of okay v we can use the momentum to find where momentum is equal to nv v will equal to momentum over mass Okay, so I will substitute in momentum is 3.16 exponent negative 24 and the mass of the electron is 9.11 exponent negative 31 and remember to square it up. Okay, so the answer or the kinetic energy of the electron is equal to 5.48 exponent negative 18. Okay. And the answer is in Joule. Okay, so we need to convert Joule into electron volt by dividing the answer with 1.6 exponent negative 19. Okay, therefore we will get 34.3 electron volt. Okay, so this is example 4. Next we go to example 5 where we need to compare the de Broglie wavelength of the electron and also proton if they are same okay if they have the same kinetic energy okay so k for proton k for electron are similar so we want to find the de Broglie wavelength where the de Broglie wavelength of the electron is over wavelength of the proton is equal to h over z 2 mk okay since we have the kinetic energy okay so we can use ratios to find this is for electron this is for proton okay so h and h actually we can cancel off okay 2 we can cancel k we can cancel because k electron is similar with the k of the proton okay so therefore our wavelength E over wavelength proton is equal to square root mass of the proton over mass of the electron so I will substitute in mass of the proton is 1.67 exponent negative 27 and the mass of the electron is 9.11 exponent negative 31 okay so after pressing the calculator, the de Broglie wavelength of the electron over proton is 42.8. Okay, so remember there's no unit. Okay, no unit because they already cancel off each other. Okay, so meaning that if you want to find ratio, usually no 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 unit. Okay, so that's all for chapter 10 okay see you on the next video we will continue discuss on chapter 11 see you bye